guys, as you might have guessed in the previous video, it was very gross. And Yelly and I argued. We we're actually best friends, but we argued. Well, that's exactly why I didn't tell him that we're making a video shooting. So that if he's busy, he doesn't have to argue with me again. So let's go fetch him for our video. What was that? I said hi. Oh, hi, Yoli. What's up? Oh, actually, I'm sorry, but um, what are you doing? Tell me what is it first. Can we please make a video? Just tell me if you're too busy. Oh, no, I'm not busy at all. Stuff over here. Come on, let's go make a video. Okay, guys, thank God y'all even fine. He's walking to the place where we had to make a video. Right here. And now we sit. So, hi, Yelly. Finally. Thank God you didn't tell me. Otherwise, I wouldn't argue against you. Yes, I remember. Hey guys, in the previous video, it was gross. So, Yelly, what are we exactly doing today? We're going to make another video. Uh, I know that. But, we're going to make another video of the gross stuff that we learned last time. Okay, Yelly, please. Just tell me. Tell me. Yeah, I'm okay. Tell me. Okay, as in the previous video, we learned many things. And we also forgot to tell that the what? Um, I remember, Yelly. I think you forgot. Yeah, I did. So, guys, we forgot to inform you in that video that you should drink lots and lots of water continuously. Otherwise, you will have infections and problems with your urine and poop oh that's right but hey guys we're making part two pee and poop that's right well i only told yelly we were gonna do that yelly forgot to tell us yeah okay yelly so last time we learned about the Romans and how they used to use pee and poop. Yes! That is exactly why we're doing another part. We're not going to do about the Romans. It's going to be less disgusting, Yali said. Yes, it's going to be less disgusting. But first, we're going to learn what happens if you don't drink water and you hold your pee and poop. Yeah, Yali, I know already. It hurts. Not that. Um, okay, tell me then, what is it, basically? Well, basically, uh, your urine will become less. Oh, because we also learned in the previous video that urine is a form of wastewater. That's right, and because without water there will be less wastewater yes and you know what happens no tell me the part of your urine needs a lot of water so first of all it starts stinging yeah yoli i already know that it starts stinging because if you don't drink enough water, everything in your body becomes dry. Oh yes, that is exactly why you should drink lots and lots of water. Oh, that's right, Yelly. You should drink lots of water. Hey guys, you guys do the same. We tell you because you'll get major problems with your urine and poop. 
Yes, we recommend you to. Yes, guys. And we're going to tell you one infection and how it occurs and what it does. But that will be later. So let's continue. So we learned really gross things last time. Yes, Joey. And if you don't drink enough water, you know what happens. Yes. And it stings a lot. And when you hold it, the same happens. Yes, Yelly, so you shouldn't do it. Yes. Well, most people drink water, but sometimes they don't feel thirsty. Hey, by the way, I we already know what we're going to do in the bonus round, so write in the comments, guys, if you know, too. Yes, do write in the comment section below. Yes. And because of the new policies, you'll not be able to do it. Yes, we forgot to mention that so many times. Okay, by the way, let's stop wasting time and let's continue. So, that is what I had to say. Yes, Yelly, that is very important. Do you know what? Do you know what produces urine, first of all? Oh, no, I don't. Please, do tell me. When you drink the water, it goes to the food pipe, also known as esophagus. Yes, Shelly, I already know that. Then it goes in your stomach, and it kills all the germs. Oh, right, the stomach kills all the germs. Yes. But one more thing. Is the stomach more powerful than the novel coronavirus? Oh, no it isn't. The body isn't familiar with that virus. You already know that. This is not a coronavirus video. This is a poop and pee video. Oh, yes, Yelly. Come on, tell me. And after all the germs are killed, it goes to the small intestine. Yes. And the small intestine takes all the vitamins and minerals and proteins that the body needs. Yes, Yelly. And it also takes the water to other parts of the body. Oh, yes. Hmm. That is exactly correct. After that, it goes in the large intestine. Yes, all the waste material passes through the large intestine. Yes, Yelly. And what happens after that? After the large intestine, it goes to the kidneys. What are the kidneys? I've never heard of that word. The kidneys are somewhat lung-shaped. They're kind of half flat C-shaped. They're like a D, only it's flip side. Okay, Yelly, so... Now I know what the kidneys look like. But are they one? Is it, I mean, is it one or are they two? They are two. Okay, but how exactly does whatever its job is? So, it has a line attached to it from both the kidneys. And then, the line stops and it becomes one line. Okay, Yelly. But what exactly is the kidney's job? The kidney's job is to purify the blood. Purify the blood? What is that? It means clean the blood from any waste materials. Okay, Yoli, what happens all to that? Because it needs water. The kidneys need water to produce the urine. It frees the blood from the urine. And it creates urine. Oh, now that is exactly why and how it creates urine. But how does it come out by the kidneys? That line which I which you told us it doesn't come from the line. It goes to the bladder. Oh, I know the la the bladder. But wait, do the kidneys also produce poop? No, the kidneys don't produce the poop. Well. The excess water goes through the kidneys and then it goes to the bladder. But 
for the excess the excess food the large intestine just automatic automatically takes it to the bladder okay so it doesn't have to go to the kidneys no the line is only very small just enough for urine to fit in okay just enough for the urine to fit in what happens after that then you feel like going to the toilet oh and then what happens then the bladder it pushes out all the poop and all the urine that was there in your body oh that's great yes that is great but you guys know what happens if you hold it it starts peeing immediately oh yes of course it can and yes Yoli, you shouldn't do that at all we already know that yes and do you know guys now we're gonna do the quiz time but before that let me tell you all the answers of the quiz time so basically if you don't drink water it harms the kidneys and the spleen what's the spleen i'm sorry i didn't tell you guys about it so it's located right here right here okay then what happens if you don't drink enough water if you don't drink enough water the spleen starts starts painting and then you feel lots of pain and then you feel like pressing it so many times okay yali so that's why you should drink a lot of water yes but guys another thing do do keep in mind lots of water can kill you did you say cure or kill kill okay so by the way yelly no one is gonna drink so much water in their whole white life not so much hey but you guys know something should you drink the water at one go I don't think you should, Yoli. That's actually not a correct thing to do. Yes, you shouldn't do, do it. Yes, Yoli. You shouldn't do it at all. Yes. Okay, Yoli. Now, I think I forgot what we did in the last topic. Anyways, it's okay. We're gonna do on another topic now. Okay, what's that? So now it has become the middle. We are gonna know about the infections, how it occurs, and what it does to you. Okay, Ellie. Which infection do we start? There's only one infection. That is called the urinary tract infection. But wait, there's this one infection of that? No, no, there are many, many infections of poop and pee. But I didn't study all that at school. Okay, I only know urinary tract infection. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, but how does your, a urinary tract infection occur? Sometimes, if you're taking care of someone, you forget to do poop and pee. That just happens sometimes. And when you don't drink enough water, it pains. So that's just paining of that. Oh, yes. But when you hold it and forget to do, the urinary tract infection doesn't do, like, doesn't sting or anything. Then what happens? When you feel like going to the toilet, only one drop of urine comes. Oh, my goodness. Yali, is that true? One drop of urine comes? Oh, yes, it comes. Okay, seriously, Yali. And Yali, I totally forgot what to put in the bonus round. Seriously, you keep on forgetting what I put in the bonus round. Oh, but that's okay, guys. We'll do something else. But if you guys remember, just remind us in the comment section below. Oh, oh yes. 
so guys, well, it's quiz time now. Well, what happens to your spleen and kidneys when you don't drink enough water? A, get dry and start painting. B, they, they become really moist. C, they have a dance party. Or D, they, they give signals to the brain saying that there is no water. Well, it's D and A. Correct. But actually, it's wrong. What? Wait, what? First answer is correct, A. But actually, the brain gives the signals to what to do. Oh, I know the brain is the boss of the body. Yes. Hey, guys, maybe f now what are we going to say about? Huh. Tell us something about poop now. All right. Hey, you guys must have been asking why is poop brown or oh, not pink, green, blue? First of all, it's very silly it would be in that color. Not just that, because it's waste food. Like if you throw get a garbage, it smells. Yes, silly, but urine and poop are waste of the body. So let's turn it into some easy ways. So basically. Something like the kidneys and the bladder are the rubbish bin of the whole body. Okay, Yali. Hey, guys, listen. Yali is very nice and smart. I think he's going to make it. We all know what it is. Okay. So then, the brain is the boss of the whole office. And the brain tells them that there's too much dirt. So informs everybody in the office to... To put out the waste in the trash cans. Okay, Yelly. And then when the trash cans are full, what do you guys do? We empty it in the garbage truck. Or we put it in bags and keep it on the stairs. Or we can even keep it outside if we don't live in an apartment. N not an apartment. You made a mistake. What? A flat. Oh yes, a flat or an apartment. For an apartment, you can keep it outside. Apartment and flats are same. Those are called separate houses where you keep them outside. Okay. So, they collect lots of trash. The trash cans of the body. Okay, Yoli. But then what happens? And then when the brain sees, I mean the boss of the body sees that, the boss orders someone to take the rubbish bin out and empty it. Yes, Yoli. So then the brain forms the bladder to throw it out. And that, and think about it, that you're a truck, but it's sealed. That means you're holding it. Okay, Yali, what else? So the, the rubbish bin topples over and it's trying to go out, pushing, pushing. And then it opens. That means you're letting it go. And then it goes out of the body like it's going in the truck. And then it goes to the toilet. And the toilet is the truck. When you flush it, that's the truck moving away. So all that poop and all is going away. Okay, Yali, but now it's bonus round time. And Yali, um, I didn't admit, but that is very, very close. Oh, guys. So. Okay. Hmm, let me think about one. Hey, guys, did you know about something on diarrhea? Oh, wait, I missed that. I, I forgot I knew about diarrhea. What's diarrhea? We'll do this for our bonus round. What is diarrhea? Okay, Ali, what is diarrhea for our bonus round? So guys, this one whole topic 
is gonna be our bonus round since we forgot what we are gonna tell you guys do write in the comment section below if you guys remember about what the bonus round had to be or guys sometimes we don't tell what is in the bonus round so just tell us in the comment section below okay so diarrhea is another infection okay how does it occur when you eat spoiled food okay when you eat spoiled food like spoiled drinks or if they're old okay what happens oh and of course junk food okay okay yelly just tell me about it okay then so diarrhea is something where you feel like going to the toilet all the time okay yali but i'm not gonna be able to say diarrhea all the time is there an easier word yes there is tell us so we can know not saying diarrhea all the time that difficult word it's not difficult but the short form of it not a short form actually another name for it is called loose motions okay loose motions that is pretty easy so loose motions and diarrhea so what happens something wrong happens to your body like in the previous bonus round we told you guys that poop can sometimes be slimy yes slimy and if you in such a way it happens. Oh yes, Yoli, so it is is it something like that? Actually, the poop it comes like that and travels to the small intestine and large intestine. And because it is very fluy and it's very soft and slimy, your bladder makes you go to the toilet so fast that you have to run to the toilet. Oh why? If you don't run, you'll crap in your panties. Oh my goodness, that is so disgusting. So, diarrhea also knows as loose motions. Now do you get it? Oh yes, so is it because that it's very loose? Oh no. You know, I don't know, actually, I forgot to shut that. Shut that. Okay, but now tell us, stop wasting time, Yali! Okay, fine. Okay. So, it travels and you have to run, otherwise you crap in your pants. The moment you feel, you feel that you have diarrhea, you just have to run to the toilet. And your body produces lots of this. So once you go to the toilet, you have to go again and again and again. Oh my goodness, I don't have diarrhea. Don't worry, your parents will give you nice food, guys. So don't worry about diarrhea. When you're kids, it's not very common it will happen to you. But when you're adults, well, don't eat contaminated food. Okay, Yelly. So, hey guys, let's pick up the points. What does that mean? It's a new thing that is in the bonus round. So if there are bonus topics like diarrhea, we're gonna do the points. So first, so first of all, it becomes very slimy and travels to your body. Correct, second. Second one is you feel like going to the toilet. If you don't eat your time in one second, you'll feel that you have cracked in your pants. Absolutely. Then when you go to the toilet and do it, you'll have to go again and again and again because your body produces lots of this. Yes. And hey guys, if you do have this, please tell your parents and go to your doctor ASAP. What does ASAP mean? I don't think our friends also know what ASAP is. ASAP is as soon as possible. Oh, that's the short form for as soon as possible. 
Yes. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. We would love to see you for our next video. Yes. And always remember to drink lots of water. Yes, Yoli. So let me pick up the points and see. First, drink lots of water. Secondly, do not hold your pee or poo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then third, if you have a urinary tract infection or diarrhea, also known as loose motions, do tell your parents. Uh -huh. We'll continue this later. For now, bye everyone. Bye bye.